Hi, this is me Najibul Sheikh. I am Google Merchant Center and website tracking expert. Yesterday, I got two Google Merchant Center reactive that was suspended for the misrepresentation issue. So this one is the first one, uh, the Merchant Center that I got reactive uh, yesterday and this one the other one, the second one Merchant Center. So all product are active uh, with these two uh, Merchant Center, uh, this one and this one. So I am going to share you my experience how I got reactive this two merchant center. Mm, both are suspended for uh, misrepresentation. So this is the website, mm, the uh, merchant center website, and this one the second one. So I I uh, create a report for this merchant center of this website and this one and this website actually uh, the client just give me the uh, uh, shopify access and then i have uh, made all the thing <clears throat> all the thing means um, i have made the website banner uh, properly list the product and uh, customize the footer all the thing uh, also make the logo favicon icon all the thing and also create the, all the policies everything i have made properly and then uh, got reactive so let me show you the reactive mail first uh, of these two merchant center then i will explain you um, the report uh, what i i have fixed uh, from the website all the thing i will explain you okay in this video so let me show you this merchant center if i go to the email archive and this is the reactive email this one and I got reactive 7 January 2025 uh, yesterday and if I show you uh, this merchant center this one I also got uh, yesterday uh, so let me show you the uh, analytics then you can also see just a minute yes so this is the this approved uh, analytics and this one the pending status if i mm, show you the shopping uh, actually it's showing uh, yellow mark because here have some mm, option you can see like if i go to the shopping ads then you can see all product are approved okay so the free listing product are still pending because uh, google take uh, up to three days to approve the product so uh, yesterday i got so google will take up to three days uh, all all free listing product will be approved within uh, three days so uh, it's uh, not a big issue but the free list uh, so, sorry shopping ads are all product approved okay so um, let me explain uh, the report of this merchant center so one by one i am going to uh, uh, share so the first thing the first uh, mistake was have uh, the website uh, the footer was not properly customized so in the footer website footer all the necessary policy and the contact details uh, we have to must uh, include in the footer section like phone number email address okay and social media link like social media link and uh, also need to include the all the policies uh, privacy policies shipping policies return and refund policy uh, all the policy need to mention on the footer hmm. so that thing i actually mentioned in the docs file in the report and the second thing is uh, on the website footer need to uh, Mm, mention the company name phone number email address all all this business information must be need to include in the footer and the third one is in the about us page we need to mention uh, we need to mention the uh, the, uh, the business related information if we use in the about us page any generic content then google will getting problem so in the about us page you need to mention properly how you operate your business and what type of uh, uh, product are you selling and what is the uh, uh, what offer are you offering in your um, website so all the thing uh, we need to mention in the about us page so any generic 
information uh, we cannot use in the about us page so that thing i actually mentioned and we already fix uh, from the website and the fourth one is we need to mention the track your order page track your order page uh, need to include on the website footer and the fifth one is on the contact us page we need to mention all the business uh, oh, sorry all the um, contact information like phone number email address all the thing if you have a social media page of this related a uh, website or, uh, or or business then you need to mention uh, uh, on the food uh, contact us page the sixth one is the privacy policy was not properly uh, uh, they are not have any properly content related to the privacy policy that was the mistake uh, i have fixed also the uh, second one is the terms and condition is properly not uh, mentioned uh, in the footer so here have a few thing but i have fixed more other th more more thing uh, in the website and the second website i already described because uh, just client give me the website and i just um, uh, sorry the client just give me the website and i have make all the thing all the, all the listing all the policies all the information i have properly made and then got reactive okay so uh, if you getting uh, this type issue in your merchant center of the misrepresentation issue then feel free to contact me i will provide my contact details in the uh, video description okay and then we can uh, free discuss uh, and you you just knock me on my whatsapp then i will help you okay uh, actually my always running project have seven to eight and every month i have reactive uh, 12 to 13 google merchant center with the with the same issue misrepresentation issue hmm. and that's why in this year uh, i i decided to uh, upload the video every uh, successful project every merchant center uh, recover successful project that's why in this month i have already fixed four merchant centers uh, and two uh, video i already uploaded in the uh, in my channel youtube channel and this one the third one video uh, to the related uh, google merchant center misrepresentation related issue and uh, yesterday i got two merchants in the reactive that's why i think i want to make a video so uh, share my experience okay so yeah thank you for watching this video and uh, feel free to contact me if you uh, have facing this misrepresentation issue in your uh, merchant center then feel free to contact me okay so i uh, i will share my next video my next project my next experience thank you for watching